knows they're recording. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out people doing their job perfectly. This dude is chopping potatoes. A stack. He's not even looking. Just everything about this is absolutely bananas. The fingers, they just keep getting so close. They get so close. He's gonna chop a nail off or something. No, he doesn't. How many times do I have to watch this? I gotta watch this like slow down. Slow this down. Okay, he's fast. He's really fast. It's sped up, right? He's doing this way too fast and he's blinking way too fast. But still, you are slicing through six large potatoes. No, you're not even looking at them. You're looking up. That's the hardest part. I would have lost three fingers and a hand. Maybe the arm. When I'm cutting something, I have to like look exactly where I'm cutting or it's like there will be a casualty. That's what makes it really impressive for me. How many plates can you possibly stack on one arm? You got four, five. He already picked up a sixth one. He's gonna open the door. Oh, kick it open. Those aren't even the regular plates. They're like the huge dinner plates. Are they not hot? My dude is a pro. Years of carrying mom's groceries in one trip has prepared him for this job. I'ma stack five plates on this arm instead of make two trips if I have to. And he did. Easy. It's actually really impressive. Okay, we have to take out this piece of grass. Oh no, these people didn't pay their grass bill. Time to take out the grass. This spot specifically? Okay, removed. I will be taking the green back. You don't even get a crumb of grass left until you pay your bill. Y'all might not like how this is done, but this is how they do it. White bricks are just painted red. I thought they like hand lay the red brick, right? No, it's just a bunch of white bricks. And then they, when they paint red over it, the indents stay white. You tell me he stacked all of those up there. Do it again, or I don't believe you. He did it again. Do they just like stack on top of each other? Or do you have to have like really good aim? Like just pick it up and throw it up. Toss it. Like it's a dang sack of potatoes. You told me he did that with all of them. You know, gotta load them up one way or another. Might as well get good at throwing them. Bet this guy is a beast at bowling. When painting a wall, it's better to start painting by the edges. Oh, so that's what makes it so fast. I see all these people going crazy, like paint an entire wall in a few seconds. When I didn't even realize, like they have all the corners painted. That's the hardest part that takes the longest time. Cause then you could just like go crazy on the rest of it. This is how they trim a hedge wall. Oh, it's so perfect. Plants need a haircut too. You know, it looks so clean after they cut it, but it's also like nice and spiky before too. Nobody will try to climb over it if it's spiky. They poured lava onto the stone. I don't think it's lava, it's liquid metal. Wait a second, everybody pours it at the same time so it like evenly distributes and it's a fence. This is how they make fences? No way! Just make a mold into the ground and then just pour liquid metal? I mean, yeah, it makes sense. That's so cool. Look at this dude's cameraman skills. You told me they doing this in real time? Okay, that's actually crazy. Cause I don't know what I was expecting. I thought when there was like a game or something being broadcasted live, I thought there was multiple cameras that like switch off. But this dude looks like he could do it. Like he's the multiple cameras in one guy. Like let me zoom in on the ball, follow the ball, follow this dude. Like his precision is point accurate. I, I bet he got some good aim in Fortnite. No, I really respect people that it doesn't matter no matter what they do, they do their job good. Filthy seats, no problem, just torch them off. Wait, really? They're like brand new and shiny too. I don't think they've ever been this clean. Whoa, you know, if only I could just melt the grime. Is your house a disgusting crusty mess? Just set it on fire and it'll be like new. You know, if only cleaning was that easy. I cannot believe how extremely satisfying this is. Just like having a brand new chair. Have you ever seen this device? Because I haven't. I feel like I just watched the murder. The way it just like snapped the tree off and then all the branches. What are you gonna do with all the branches? Nope, don't need those. Just shred them. Shave the tree. You know, it's hot girl summer. Make it silky smooth. Shave the branches off. You know, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this, like a whole entire device that it goes through to just come out a clean trunk. I thought there was a big burly guy in the forest doing that, but no, they got this thing. Look how fast she puts in orders. She gotta be a PC player or something. Look how quick! She ran that card multiple times too. Bill paid. When time is money, the faster you do your job, the more money you make. 
She's making these little meat pockets, right? And look, she goes so insanely fast. Like, you don't even see her roll it up. Look, watch it in slow-mo. She is taking a piece, rolling it in meat, and putting it to the side. How is she rolling it so fast? How is the dough so cooperative? Like, it's practically folding itself. Like, it really just did an orange justice after it got a piece of meat inside. That's crazy. Wait, that's how you wrap your rims? I always wondered how they do this. No way it's that simple. So you just like clean it off and you just put the sheet on top and then peel off the excess like it's a dang car sticker. Is it this simple? I feel like it's just gonna like peel off or something. Okay, but anyways, it looks sick. Oh man, it is so satisfying seeing this. Bus? He's gonna step on it, you're gonna step on it. Oh, it dries really fast. I guess you can step on it. Oh man, but it is so satisfying seeing these letters done. Also, this takes great skill. Like, it's not a brush. Like, they pour the paint into this thing and you have to like write the letter fast enough. So this highway was flooded and this worker single-handedly unclogs the drain. Oh man, he did it and then just sit back like a boss. <laughs> I wonder if he knows they're recording. He probably looked at all of them like, wow, you guys are idiots. It's just some dirt, some grass, some trees and leaves. He just sits back, watches this little whirlpool of all the mucky water draining. I mean, I would feel so cool after that. Like, you're welcome. Someone had to do it. This is how they make a mud pot. So they take the clay. Oh, I've never seen this. I only seen those like spinning plates. So they just take a piece of stone and just, oh, so satisfying. Whoa. At this point, what game is this even? This has gotta be like some crazy trick shot, judging by the guy on the hoverboard or whatever that is. The one wheel skateboard. Okay, that was pretty good. This guy is painting the ground for a sport court. Is that what it's even called? It's not a tennis court. I don't know if it's basketball. I'm gonna call it a sport court. You really cannot mess this up. Or you're gonna like do it over. Very confident in their abilities, I see. How do they put on a window tint? Ooh, oh, that was clean. Very aggressive also. So it's just a sheet, you just put it on like that, like a face mask for your car window. And then like squeegee it, flatten it down. How's it sticking? Why doesn't this just like peel off? Oh, he's holding one side. All right, it's not going anywhere but this window. You and the glass will be as one. Until somebody's like, ooh, you got a new car, you still got a little thing, it's peeling a little bit. And then just yank the whole tint off. Ew, filthy shoes. Yeah, what do you do when your shoes are filthy? Just throw them in the washing machine or do you have to like manually wash them like this? I guess you have to manually like scrub them. I gotta like take a weekend off and that's all I'm gonna be doing. Just cleaning shoes. I need to get me one of those like shoe brushes. I've been using a toothbrush. It's not very efficient. Oh, they're like brand new. Those laces still be musty though. But the white part, the part that gets scuffed, it can be like new again. All I need is a brush and some special sauce. This guy is getting paid per yard of pavers he lays down. So of course he's gonna do it quick. This cannot be good for your back. We are going to go down this escalator and clean it in one trip. I'm not going back up there. So they got the whole squad to clean the airport escalator. Everybody holds a section of the wiper so that when the elevator comes down once, they will have it clean in one go. Now that is what I call efficient. I mean, can't one person just like stand at the bottom and just wait for it to come down? I think that would also work. Then again, I have never cleaned an escalator in my life. When you're getting paid per job. Oh, y'all are quick. Tell me where people are getting these like pay per job. Everybody I hire to do anything, it's like by hour and then they dilly dally for several hours. And then they're like, well, I couldn't do it. What? One time I hired somebody to put together a desk and a shelf. The shelf was in two pieces and then the desk was in two pieces also. It took this guy eight hours of doing what? It's because I wasn't watching him. I was sick in bed and he dilly dallied for eight hours hours to put together these two things. And with a desk, he needed help too. Somebody please tell me how. And then he charged me $600 to put those two things together because it was per hour. Can you guess who's the vet and whose first day it is? They're both really fast. You telling me one of those people, it's their first day? I mean, the guy on the right finished way faster. But still, like, if that's her first day, that is very impressive. Where are y'all working that y'all are cutting things so fast? I see people in the back slicing like, which is fine, it's just a few slices of banana. 
Did Amber Heard get a new job? She could do bottle tricks. Now let me get that mega pint. Oh, she keeps going. Ma'am, I just want my drink. I'm just kidding. I don't think Amber is that talented. But like, how long are you gonna be playing with my drink before you pour it? Did a flip, did a juggle? Several flips. Oh, that last one was dangerous. Came dangerously close to her weenus. Y'all ever get hit like your funny bone like right here and it's like, oh. Hello friends, it's me. Today's video is a test of endurance. Speed, fastness. No way. There's gotta be a magnet or some kind of voodoo magic sorcery involved for those dough balls to assimilate like this. Wow, this is insane. How is he making them do that? See, everybody's recording like, this dude's a witch, he's gotta be a witch. This is what he decides to use his black magic for. my single scoop vanilla ice cream, okay? Come, come on, man. Come on. Can I, can I get my ice cream now? He just yeeted it at the customer. Ooh. Like weird flex, but okay. I just came in here to get my ice cream, okay? Oof, that sweet, sweet coconut juice, mmm. gives me anxiety how fast they do it. Y'all might cut a finger off. Y'all ain't scared like that big butcher knife just <laughs> like what if it slipped? If that was me, I would have done lost at least three fingers already. I'm clumsy though. Damn. Mm. <laughs> Is this especially scary? When they like really take it like mm, 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 mm. And their fingers are like right there. Y'all give me anxiety. And it ain't even my fingers. Oh. Y'all see how they cut that? Mm. Show that stick who his daddy is. It ain't the tree, I'll tell you that. Ooh. That's quick. That is quick. You hammer those nails. You hammer them real good. They're going in straight down. They ain't even going in like sideways or whatever. You know when you hammer them like really fast and they're going like, mm. Oh. Meanwhile, me struggling for five minutes to parallel park and then realizing I can't parallel park and driving off to go find another parking spot. I'm just kidding. I know how to parallel park now. Like for years I struggled and then I recently learned how to do it and now I know how to do it. But this dude just like slid on down. I'm trying to slide into your DMs like. Too fast. This has got to be sped up or something. Bro, we got to take a break here. That was a little too fast. Like, you are going to lose a finger one day. I guarantee it. Rachel Ray, who? Giada? Never heard of her. What's this dude's name? Mr. Quick Cucumber. <gasps> oh my god. See, people working a little too close and a little too fast with knives. It's like they doing it so quick. And those fingers are like right there and they're just slowly moving and flicking it. I don't see how fast you could cut this. Ooh, yes, yes. Oh, actually, no, not yes, not yes. Please wash your fingers for me. I get so anxious washing this. It's like they put their fingers so close. It's like knife fingers. I just lost three fingers and there wasn't even a knife involved. You ever wonder how they slice avocado for sushi? This is how they do it. Whoa, it's so perfect. Meanwhile, I struggle to get the seed out of an avocado. Well, y'all doing this fancy, mm, mm, mm. Oh, are they making the flower mango thing? I've seen that before. Oh no, they're just peeling it. <gasps> they, they are, they're making it to a flower. Oh, I always wanted to try this. So cute. Cute little mango. Like of this mango cuter than you. Uh -huh. <gasps> this dude is pouring milk? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no way. No way. This cannot be possible. This cannot be real. He is pouring milk as he is spinning on a stool. This is the real voodoo magic. How is he doing that? How is it not going everywhere? This is an art form. I don't know how you did it, but that is really effing cool, okay? Y'all see that? He just yeeted his edamame across 
the road. For a second, I thought he was gonna catch it, but no, he yeeted it, blindfolded, across the road, and this dude caught it. Slow-mo, there you have it. What you think, fake or real? How many times do you think they did this before they actually caught it? Hmm. Oh my god, that's crazy. Y'all see how he just put out the fire with that? Get you a man's like this. Whoa, are those beans? Woohoo! do that. I mean, there's a slow-mo. You're just watching it. Imagine if they just messed up. Just like one wrong move. You really done spilled the beans now. Man, I could watch this all day. This is just, ooh. Like, seeing it move like that. Like, this is 100% legit. Like, some people are just really good at what they do. How quick can you make some buns? Oh, we got a master bun flipper over here. Okay, but how about that meat? Let me see that meat. Oh, we got eggs. Eggs first. Oh! What? The, what? The, oh no, eggshell! You done messed up, my dude. Oh, the way he just cracked those eggs. It takes me 7.4 seconds to pick up an egg, make a crack in it, and crack that bad boy into the pot. While this guy, been done cracked five eggs, made his omelet, while I crack one egg. Okay, he keeps going. He keeps going, and at this point, I have no idea what my man is making. Are you gonna juggle till you got time to juggle all these eggs? Come on, make it fancy. Okay, it's kind of bothering me how those eggshells just chilling there at the bottom of the omelet. Okay, yeah, get get rid of them. Eat them away. We ain't got time for that. Ooh, is this the meat? Gotta put ketchup and the secret sauce and the mayonnaise. Oh, gotta make it all fancy, gotta do the tricks. And the horizontal lines. Okay, that, that's enough sauce, by the way. It's a little too saucy for my liking. Oh, this is how you make an Egg McMuffin. That's what he's making. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Wow, good job, sir. 12 burgers. So it's like two, three minutes. Two, three minutes. He done made 12 burgers. And they ain't just regular burgers. He got all the sauce. He got the egg. He got the meat. He got them packaged too. Leave a like if you would eat those burgers. Nah, I think they were made a little too fast. I want my made again with love. I'm just kidding. Those are definitely made with love. Ooh, look at all those carrots. Who knew? There was so many carrots. Like they come in bunches. Like bananas, but carrots. Mmm, pull my hair like you pull those carrots. <laughs> this is so satisfying to watch. They just like pop right out of the ground. Like, ooh, pick me up. Again, with the fancy drink pouring. Oh, imagine if people handed out samples like that. Look, he got hella cups all over him. If you want a drink, ooh, here you go. He got a giant teapot on his back pouring you the drinks. And the way he fills it almost all the way to the top, like ain't no drops wasted. That is insane. Oh, this is satisfying. I see my dad do this, like laying a wood floor, like they all just like click into each other. <gasps> this is how they make bricks! It's like a long brick log. And then they just like slice it into bricks. Who said this was an educational channel? Oh, it looked like paper, but it's like dough, slime. I don't know what it is. <gasps> Whoa! Is it dough? Is it slime? Is it cotton? Where's all of this water going? Are you watering that tree? I hope y'all gonna drink that after. Where does it all go? Ooh. Is this how they make a fluffy? Oh no, it's a wig. This is how they make a wig. So is that just basically like a giant brush that they just like throw it through that a couple times? And then the hair is silky smooth. Not my Amazon wigs, I can tell you that. <gasps> 
So that's how they do it. That's how they cut the big fish. We got a dough guy over here working on his dough. Oh, you're making a pizza? Oh, you work that dough real good. You know, some places got machines for that. But this is hand abused dough. The Italian way. Oh, oh, so fancy with it. So fancy with it. He giving it a whole massage. Happy ending and everything. This is an art form. Mm, this is making me hungry. Bro, this camera dude, come on. You got one job to just like record this dude, make it a pizza hella quick. But no, you gotta come in, you gotta come out, you gotta like shake it like that. This camera dude ruin it. Oh, that's some quick slicing. No recycled pizzas here. Low key though, is this a Pizza Hut ad? We slice our pizzas quick. So you could eat it quick. Faster than Domino's. Comment below, Domino's or Pizza Hut? Or Papa John's, where you like to get your pizza from? Y'all a little too extra with this dough flipping and whatever. How I flip dough when my crush is watching. Okay, now I get it. Okay, see firefighters, they gotta be quick. They gotta put on all their gear and everything really fast when they gotta go. Oh, this is an art form. So you start out with just a shot of espresso and then you pour cream into it and make these fancy designs. Ooh. I think a lot of you guys have noticed my new background and have told me how boring it is. I hear your cries and I'm gonna fix it. So yeah, this is my new setup. It's boring, plain. It's not as visually stimulating, but that will change. I need to get a new shelf. I need to get some of my old stuff and put them behind me. I have to like redo my whole room, okay? But anyways, today's video, we're gonna be checking out people who did things extremely fast. Food workers versus Sonic. and you're just collecting it and wrapping it up and wrapping it up and just makes you dance. This video is making me real hungry. Okay, y'all think you're fast. Well, let me tell you, you are. Especially the mushroom, ooh. But again, these give me such bad anxiety, like watching them go really fast and then their fingers are like right there and then the knife is like It's like so close. You risking your fingers over some sliced veggies. Ooh, your girl loves carrots. I'm about to have a carrot snack after this video. I don't know what it is about carrots. I just, I like them. They're good. Ooh, so small. It's just like like, ugh. How do you not have an oopsie? I would have very many oopsies if I cut like that. Like when I cut, I don't like to put my fingers too close to it because I have hurt myself a lot in the past doing that. Some people, oh, they just put their fingers way too close. Okay, see this is what I'm about to do after this video. Oh, they're doing it so fast. <laughs> Woo! Okay, no, you know what? If you take your time, I feel like it doesn't take that long to peel a carrot. Maybe, maybe a little longer, but like they're going just like a lot and like very fast. I feel like if you take your time and just do like thick peels, <laughs> you could skin it just as fast. Yes, see how we, I don't know, I don't know what these are. Tater tots or something? Yeah, they gotta be tater tots or some kind of dough ball. Look, they're just like coming out and you just slice them. That's gotta be fun. I'm sure this dude loves his job. <gasps> Whoa, this restaurant, they wear rollerblades. Oh, uh, no, no, I was about, oh. Y'all gonna cause an accident with somebody. I wonder how many spilled milkshakes y'all get on the daily. That would be really fun. Okay, I'm watching this like, they had to make the boxes from scratch too. I don't know, I've never seen how it works. I thought they just came like pre-made. Y'all see that they just sliced the whole pizza like, mm, 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 mm. So that's why my pizza slices never properly slice. You made the line, but did you provide enough force to actually slice the slice or did you bend the slice? Mission failed, slice harder next time. You can do it with two hands too, like whoop, 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 whoop. It's like you fight in the invisible pizza ghost for a slice. It's pretty cool. Don't say you got no talent. You could just like line up like hella pizzas and do like a whoever can slice the fastest. This is an art form. 
I love the whole motion of it. It's like if you watch carefully, it's a whole freaking art form. You gotta respect that. I love when people do things fast. God, I was this close to having like a panic attack like oh this is finally it goodbye thumb we had a good run I don't know that was really fast but it also felt like it took a while like you could just get a peeler be very safe about it actually peelers are not safe they're just as bad as knives see I got a peeler and it was brand new and I was I was like taking it out of its packaging it like sliced through my thumb it was weird it didn't bleed but it just had like this awkward very deep like it separated my skin into like two it was so weird it just didn't bleed it was just really I don't like it it's like a Thick paper cow. Oh, I'm out here struggling five whole minutes to like cut a watermelon. And this dude got his top slice, bottom slice, side, 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 side to rind. Now this got me wanting some watermelon. I love watermelon. <laughs> oh. Bro, that was a whole sandwich in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> Four seconds if you include the throw. We don't even have fast food that fast. <laughs> you see how we just scoop those falafel up? Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. You're going to have to slow down there. That's a little too fast. Okay, hold on. Hold. Excuse me, sir. You're going way too fast. I'm going to have to give you a ticket. Like, half of those steps weren't even necessary. I feel like he was just doing like this to make it look like there were a lot of extra steps involved in making this sandwich. If you really watch it, like half of those steps, especially in the beginning, he just going like this, like, let me make it look like I'm going fast. know if he did anything. Did he even do anything in that? Or is it just like unnecessary flips like this? We gotta watch a slow-mo. See, all those extra steps at the beginning. It looks like there's, oh yeah, he's just extra tomatoes, you say? Let me do a little fancy trick. Yeah, see, he did like a little transition where he just goes like, mm -mm -mm -mm. just waste some time. I would have got my sandwich 0.7 seconds faster if you didn't do that little unnecessary transition there, sir. Four stars on you. It's just so extra. But we love and appreciate people who actually enjoy doing their job, no matter what they do. Wow! So this is how the spammers do it. So in your mailbox, you get so many spam letters. And it's even easier if you live in an apartment and then the spammers hire people like this and they just like poke each bad boy in. How is she doing that though? It's like she's letting it fall and then she's pushing the page in. Wow. Quick. We love a spamming queen. No, we don't. We hate a spamming queen. I hate spam letters. Y'all make me feel bad about killing trees. <laughs> It's a payday, but they decide to pay you in ones. Oh my god, they count that money hella quick. Harvey, we gotta do this deal quick before the police show up. Learns how to count money at lightning speed. But are you just caressing it with your fingertip? Or are you actually counting? Man, he could probably do that faster than I could like swipe my thumb. Try that, like if you swipe your thumb over and over and over and over and over again. That's quick. textured wall that ugly okay I get it's like satisfying to see this but walls like this are so freaking hideous like almost every house in Arizona has something like this where the wall is just textured I don't know I hate this I don't appreciate this y'all might like watch this and think it's cool until you have this in your house I don't know I hate it preparing for Coachella like Y'all want some seats? I got your seats right here. Boom, 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 boom. A seat for you, a seat for you, a seat for all of you. I don't know how they did that. Those are like very hard to separate. Oh, here I thought. 
that. That you set the chairs all up upright in a straight line, nah. They all thrown in a pile like animals. <laughs> Mom said I could play Fortnite after I paint my little brother's room. <laughs> so quick. So that's how they do it. Every time I get a package from China, it is always completely wrapped up in tape. It's like, what's the whole point of the package if you're gonna wrap the whole thing in tape? You know, some things, I don't even get them in a package. I get them bubble wrapped and then they just like wrap the whole thing in tape. I'm always like, this is such a hassle opening. It's like, I need scissors to open it when it's like that. But y'all got a whole freaking technique. That was nice. I appreciate your cucumber cutting skills. Oof, 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 oof. That won't put up a fight. <sighs> okay, you can stop now. Ugh. Where's my hand just watching this? Like, mm, 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 mm. Jackie Chan, who? Y'all training versus humans, let's do training versus bricks. Ooh, that's quick. Ooh. Yes. Yes! Cut me a slice! This is extremely satisfying, especially stacking them on top of each other. Like, oh, I don't care if the bottom has the grease from the other one. Cutting the tomato? Oh, what? It's not a tomato. Is it a kumquat? No, it is a tomato. He's got something on his hand. Either he's casually used to cutting his hands or that's like armor. Armor band-aids. I mean, he didn't even cut it pretty. Who cut a tomato like this? Anybody? Raise your hand. I already don't like tomatoes, but when you go cut them like that, even worse. The way he cuts it. It's like cutting a banana. Like, split down the middle. Hello, friends. It's me. Today, we're gonna be checking out some workers doing their job perfectly. I'm gonna take these gas cans and then stack them. Oh, that was perfect. It's like flipping a water bottle, but with a gas can. Those things are so heavy too. And he just flipped it like it was nothing. What? It looks like he's just picking up the jeans and just like flopping them. Okay, I gotta watch this in slow-mo because I don't understand what's going on. It's just moving so fast. He's perfectly folding them every time. There is no way it's that simple. So you grab it from the knee and then just like perfectly fold the jeans every time. Brooklyn fold the entire store in like five minutes. Why he look like a secret agent? Like they hired the jean expert to fold the store and then move on to the next one. They call him the denim dude. When the store's a mess, they summon him at the end of the day, folds all the jeans, and then be on his merry way. Oh, that is a gorgeous piece of watermelon. Oh, okay, that is quick. You see the way this guy sliced that? Perfect slices every time. Oh, the things I would do for a watermelon right now. That looks so good and juicy. Oh, whoa, do it again. Oh, double bag. Oh, that was so impressive. Like, how did he get it? Up and open and under and up and the bottle goes in. And if it wasn't recorded, I wouldn't have known how the bottle got in the bag. He's quick with it. Oh, he like lifted it at the very last second. I see what you're doing. I've seen a bunch of videos of boxers using this device to practice their boxing skills. But like, watch this guy do it blindfolded. This isn't even sped up. Like he's gonna dodge it every time and then know exactly where it's gonna be. Bro could fight his opponent blindfolded. Nah, he's gotta be able to see. Okay, this is absolutely insane. Like whenever I watch an anime and they be fighting blindfolded, I'm like, nobody can ever do that in real life. This guy can. You know, if that's blindfolded, think about what he can do when the blindfold comes off. Oh, that is a smooth way of cutting off all the skin. Oh, but wait, that's not just the skin. Y'all are cutting the cucumber too. This is going to be one long piece of cucumber skin. Oh, I feel like you could have done more. Y'all like the cucumber with the wrapper on or off? Personally, I like the wrapper. This will always blow my mind. How sushi restaurants cut the avocado. You know, they just take like a piece and then just like skirt, run the knife through it a few times, and then have perfect slices of avocado every time, and then just like slap that on the sushi roll. Wham, bam, here's your California roll, ma'am. Very satisfying. What was that, a meteor? Nah, I just slow this down and watch it again. He caught something that fell from the tree. What's up there? Oh, there are people up there in the trees dropping fruit. 
And they're catching it with their sack. Whoa, is it a durian? I didn't know they grew on trees that were that tall. Like everybody has to make sure they catch it. Otherwise it'll fall on the floor and burst. I haven't seen so many of these videos on TikTok where they change the screen protector. Oh, what was wrong with it? It was fine. She just broke it. it. Just snapped. Okay, I guess we get in a new one. That one was crusty musty. You know, make sure you clean off the phone real good. Make sure it's extra clean with a dry microfiber cloth. Okay, now what? We giving the phone a massage? Give me a little tap, tap, tap. Oh, I think this is one of the privacy screen protectors. So only the person looking at the phone can see the screen. You know, I always wonder what these people are hiding. Oh, you know what? We're gonna do you a favor. Clean the back of it too. She just plucked off the camera plastic like it was a Pringles lid. Okay, well, we gotta put a cover on this now. Make sure it's extra clean. This is gonna be so sanitary. And make sure you get all the nooks and crannies, all the crevasses, just in case there's any Dorito crumbs in there. Finish it off by putting the case back on. Oh, that is clean. Nice. Okay, she did some good work. Girl, what are you doing? Caressing the money? Give it a little tickle tickle before you spend it? Probably one of the world's fastest money counters. You know, usually when people count money, they do it hot dog style. She did a hamburger. That was very impressive. Oh, you thought she was fast before? This is somebody's grandma, knitting. I didn't even know they knitted like this. See each one of those things that look like a baseball bat or an unopened tampon? It has strings on it and you basically move them to braid the thread. Huh, I've never seen it done like that. This is so cool. She's actually like knitting something while she's doing this. Oh, and you gotta like unwind it too. You know, five minutes of this, it wouldn't be the wooden spools making that sound. My bones would be making that sound. And then when you're done, pour yourself a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, with some cookies? It's like a reward. This dude made some bread, threw it. You're telling me he's gonna come back? Came back to him, like a boomerang? I mean, if a boomerang comes back, why shouldn't it's bread? But the bread is not shaped like a boomerang. You gonna make a pizza out of it? That's cool. Still gotta put the toppings on you. You are not ready to fly free into the world for you are a piece of dough. I thought this guy was just messing around with a calculator. He's actually calculating the total of their food by just looking at it. You know, I thought y'all added it up when they ordered, but no, at the end, he just literally like <laughs> It looked like he was tickling the calculator. I've actually inputted your total. You owe this much exactly. I think he's a little overqualified to be working as a waiter. He is simply too fast. You know, is there a speed and convenience charge too? They are working in a tomato field. We gotta empty all these tomato buckets in this pile. So instead of using all their strength to dump it and then put it back, they just throw it in. And then wherever the bucket goes, the bucket goes. We'll worry about that later. Get the hardest part out of the way. It's just so much easier to like take a bucket and launch it. And then we got somebody else on the side gathering the buckets. It is a very efficient way to do it. When they pay you when the job gets done and not hourly. What did he knock over? Plastic chairs. Oh, no way. Those chairs have a mind of their own. He's just shuffling them like a thing of cards. They're plastic chairs. Nah, this is a simulation. This is not real. It's like you're playing a game and press X to stack the chairs. And they all go like almost perfectly into place. <laughs> this is so impressive. I hope you will cherish that skill. <laughs> the street's looking a little ashy. Call this dude. We'll literally paint them black. So this is how they do it. Literally just spray paint it. You know they also do this with grass? In big fields where the grass is getting yellow and dry. They'll literally take something similar and then spray paint it green. And we live in a world of lies. He didn't even spill a drop of the sauce. Not mama's precious sauce. Just right into the bag. You know, at McDonald's, I can barely pump ketchup into the little ketchup cup without it splattering everywhere. This dude taking a liquid. Not a single stain on his shirt. Bro is smooth with it. Okay, this is some very fast sandwich making. Just grab the things and just put it on. Oh, wrap it all up and there you go. Okay, but was it made with love though? Yeah, I didn't think so. That is some gourmet fast food. This guy is laying tiles on a roof. That's it? It's been nailed? Okay, that was fast. It seems like he's not even doing it right. Like he's just like, da -da 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 -da. like whenever I hammer something, I literally have to put the nail down, hold it, and then hammer. Bro hammers it so fast that he doesn't even give the nail a chance to like tip over. Okay, wow. Hey, where did it go? Flattened and rolled out the dough, tossed it to somebody across the room to cook it without even looking. They must do this all day. Like they're so good at it. Like just pass it to this guy and he'll toss it to the cook. World's fastest Domino's employee. 
Like you know when you order your pizza and it's got the timer? This dude can literally make a pizza in a few seconds. Oh, another one? Okay, that was the fastest dough rolling I've ever seen. Oh, he take his time with the sauce so it don't splatter everywhere. And they're like actually coming out good every time. That's a lot of cheese. That is nuts. Y'all gotta charge this guy for every pizza. So they have to sort things into the bags. It's behind them, how do they even see it coming? They have to like time it perfectly, falling into their hands. And then they take breaks at opposite times. Everything has just been calculated. As soon as one lady is done, the other one starts. You know, you fill up your box and I fill up my box. It's a joint effort. Well, these people make it work. Another extremely fast calculator user. Like it's like they're typing with it. Oh, you type 60 words per minute? That's cute. I could do that on my calculator. I could write boob on my calculator. How my electrician boyfriend puts away my hair tools versus how I put them away. <laughs> I have never seen the cord of a flat iron wrapped so perfectly. Like brand new straight out of the box don't even look that clean. He good with his wire management. Fun fact, North Korea universally produces the largest percentage of high quality light bulbs. So before they package, every single light bulb has to be tested to see if it works. So they pop them into this little outlet to make sure they light up. I didn't know somebody had to like manually do this. I feel like a machine should be able to do this.